Hi, my name is Carlos and I am Chief Training Officer at HIM Training Institute. We are a medical coding training organization located at the Study by Enderun, fourth floor of the Poju Mall at the Ortigas Center in the Pasig, Mandaluyong area. HIM Training Institute offers basic and intermediate level medical coding trainings open to folks coming from both healthcare and non-healthcare backgrounds. For more information on our courses and classes, you may want to check our website, www.himt.ph, as well as our Facebook and Instagram pages. You will see their links flashed at the end of this video. We would also like to invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos related to medical coding. This video is our way of reaching out to the general public to increase awareness of medical coding as a field of study and as a career worth considering getting into. Do enjoy this short video. Hi, this is your short discussion that will help us understand exactly what a surgical package is in the CPT system. CPT stands for Current Procedural Terminology. This is the book that we use in order to capture all the procedures and services that has been done on a patient. Note that the CPT is exclusive for use in the United States. There are other countries that employ a different procedural system in order to capture the services or procedures that were done on their patients. Ang gagawin natin dito, we will juxtapose it with our Filipino way of understanding what a surgical package is or is not in this case. Now let me take you back to your experience when you bill out of a local hospital in the Philippines. Most likely you were able to observe the bill that is being handed to you. What is it that you notice? Well, for starters, there will most definitely be a line there above which are the hospital fees and below which are the doctor's fees. Now, that is a very Filipino way of a hospital bill. In fact, sabi nga natin, yung nasa taas ng linya na yon, yung mga hospital charges, we know as a culture na hindi natin pwedeng tawaran yon. That's fixed. While those that are below, the professional fees, ngayon kung kinakapos, kung kailangang makiusap, yun ang natatawaran natin, yung professional fees for the doctor. In the CPT4 system, hindi ganoon ang pagpapatakbo ng mga konsepto na ito. For one, while we have been used to seeing our bill, getting all of the things, supplies, and what not, itemized on a line per line basis that is not the same thing that you would expect when billing services under the CPT4 system there you will find the definition of a CPT surgical package and there are six items that are listed there actually it's six plus one pag sinabi natin package ibig sabihin you are not going to pay each item contained in the package separately what is going to be paid for is the package as an entire entity. Okay, ano ngayon ang kasama sa surgical package sa CPT? We could actually divide it up into three. Number one will be your evaluation and management or care. Number two will be your admin services. And number three will be your anesthesia services. Let's do number one first. Sabi dyan sa libro, ang kasama na sa surgical package ng bawat procedure na ginawa sa isang pasyente would be first, the evaluation and management service. That's actually the doctor's, we call it in local parlance, consultation. Yung consulta which resulted to a decision for surgery either one day before or on the day of the surgery is part already of the surgical package. Yung bisita na yun, hindi binabayaran yun separately. That's number one. Number two component, immediate post-operative care. Kapag ka winil out na yung pasyente palabas ng operating room, yung pag-aalaga sa kanya in the recovery room or in the recovery area is also part of the surgical package. Well, alam naman natin locally na yung service na yun hindi binibill separately so we would have no trouble trying to understand it. So yung time spent as well as the care given to a patient in the recovery room is part of the surgical package. The third component of the ENM is your typical post-operative follow-up care. Kapag ka na-operahan na, we expect and we usually return to our doctors to get checked if everything was a-okay. 
yung balik na yon kasama na rin yun sa bayad dun sa operasyon under the CPT4 system. Okay? So, tatlo po yun na evaluation and management ang tawag or consulta in local speak. So, number one, ENM service or the visit which led to the decision for surgery. Number two, immediate post-operative care. And number three, typical post-operative follow-up care. Those three comprise the first component of your surgical package. What's the other two? Number two part of the surgical package are all admin services. What do I mean by that? Ano yung scope ng admin services that we usually receive when we undergo a procedure? You have your dictating or writing down or documenting of the operative note. Number two, you have your discussion with the family and other physicians. And number three, you have your order writing. Those three are considered to be administrative in nature and are part of the surgical package. The last part of your surgical package is anesthesia. But the CPT-4 clearly defines what type of anesthesia is already bundled, kasama na, doon sa bayad sa surgery. If you have your CPT-4 in front of you, it is clearly said that what is already bundled is just local anesthesia. Outside of local anesthesia, then that service would have to be reported separately. Ang sabi nga natin, merong ikapito doon sa kabilang column. And that is your supplied materials. Which brings me back to our local bill. Where our local experience is, itemize ang lahat. Pati gasa, pati bulak, pati alcohol, nakalista, may linya. Iba ang konsepto ng surgical package sa CPT-4. Because what happens is, only those supplied materials that are over and above what is typically included or used in a procedure are those that will get billed. Kung usually gumagamit ng pitong gasa or sampung bulak sa procedure na yan, guess what? Hindi na yun binibill separately. Kasama na ang bayad nun doon sa bayad na itinakda para doon sa operasyon. Okay? So that kind of changes things in the way that a medical coder will report the services. Because malayong malayo ang magiging itsura niya sa local Filipino experience when we see a running bill. Hindi po kasing itemize than what we are used to seeing. Because again, the underpinning of this entire CPT-4 procedural system is the concept of a surgical package wherein which components are already included in the payment for the surgery itself and are not reported separately.